In Greenland, the snows of centuries have piled up on the largest ice cap in the northern hemisphere. Scientists have recently discovered evidence of a climatic catastrophe. Drilling down over 1,400 meters, geologists have collected precious samples of ancient ice. Some of it fell as snow over 100,000 years ago. The ice is shipped south, where it is kept frozen at minus 35 degrees and carefully divided up for study. By separating out the two forms of oxygen in the ice, scientists have been able to chart the temperatures when it fell as snow. Near the bottom of the ice cap, they found traces of widespread freezing occurring with dramatic suddenness. Dr. Chester Langway is chairman of the geology department at the State University of New York, Buffalo. We have evidence from the ice core studies that approximately 89,000 years ago, the global climate changed from one of greater warmth than today into one of glacial severity. It is possible that a tremendous volcanic event occurred, shielding the sun, cooling the Earth's temperatures, and thereby providing the explanation of the advancing glaciers. The significance of this catastrophic event is that within a hundred year period of time that the glaciers could have re-advanced over the surface of the earth. It is possible that we may enter into such a cold climate almost instantaneously in the very near future. If the climate does suddenly cool, will we survive the change? 18,000 years ago, Manhattan Island was buried under a mile of ice. Where the Hudson River flows today, there was a huge glacier. Pack ice filled the ocean off Long Island. We're only beginning to understand the cyclic history of the ice, but evidence is mounting that another ice age is due. The most persuasive data comes from beneath the sea. The research ship Vima sails the world's oceans, taking samples of sediments deposited long ago. A crew of scientists rig a long cylinder and drop it vertically to the ocean floor. The cylinder dredges up mud from the seabed in the form of long cores. The types of tiny fossils found at different levels in the core shows the sea temperatures of the past. Geologists have collected enough sea cores to form a detailed history of climate during the last million years. The cores are analyzed at the Lamont Doherty Geological Laboratory of Columbia University. Dr. James Hayes leads the research. The climatic record in these deep sea cores tells us that there have been eight ice ages in the last 700,000 years. It also tells us when they have occurred. This provides us with a test of various theories of the ice ages. We now have a theory that tells us that changes in the shape of the Earth's orbit act as a pacemaker for the ice age succession. Since this theory can precise, precisely predict when ice ages occurred in the past, which can be tested against these deep sea cores, it also can predict when ice ages will occur in the future. From this theory, we can say with confidence that we are currently heading toward another ice 